exciting announcement. And I know that some of you guys already know the answer to this, so don't answer if you do already know. But That's I want you to roll. guess. Okay, so we have a seasonal shake coming out next week. And I want you guys to guess what the flavor is going to be. So write in the chat, if you don't know, write in the chat what you think it's going to be. So we have some pina coladas, pokey pokey, passion fruit, strawberry daiquiri. Oh, yeah. Tropical, dairy-free berry, mango. Awesome. So cheese, just, uh, cheese cheese just uh, words of... Uh, <laughs> Just words of uh, warning. It's only open to the ANZ market, okay? Only open to ANZ market, guys. And yes, so you Kiwis are going to love this one. We have some pretty funny guesses in here. Pizza, cheeseburgers, no. Okay, so drum roll, A couple please. of people let it away. All right, what is being launched on the 3rd of October is a hokey pokey shake. Awesome. So that's why I said you Kiwis will love this because you know that, you know, as long as uh, it's pokey pokey and, you know, I know pavlova is a nice Kiwi uh, kiwi dessert. So yeah, we're all going to be excited about this pokey pokey launch. I know I'm pretty keen to get my hands on some of, the, on some of that. Um, so we have 35,000 canisters of hokey pokey no not we the whole of anz has thirty-five thousand canisters and that's it okay not me and vanessa we don't have it so oh. don't come and ask us for it okay anz has 35 so it's only available in the australia new zealand market and uh you guys i just want to put something out to you about how quickly this goes right i think the last shipment of a seasonal shake we had in New Zealand, right? In New Zealand, we had like 15,000. We had 15,000 or 20,000 and it sold out in less than a day. So our last big seasonal shake launch, it sold out in one day. They only have 35,000 across the whole of Australia and New Zealand. So on Wednesday, on Wednesday, the uh, 3rd of October, you are really got to be on point and have your team on point um, to be ordering the shake. And I can't stress that enough, guys. You can't wait until Wednesday and go, oh, yeah, they're launching that Pokey Pokey shake today. Uh, yeah, log on to your back office and get some. And then, you know, Gerald from across the street logs onto his back office and there's no Hokey Pokey left. Gerald's like, shit, I wish someone had told me about this earlier. Don't be that enrolling sponsor for Gerald, okay? Tell him about it real early. As soon as you get off this call, tell Gerald about the Hokey Pokey. He's going to go nuts over it. So it will sell out in one day, guys. It will sell out in one day. So get start getting the message out. But remember, it's I I, I don't know what the yeah bloody Gerald. I don't know what the um what the details are. Whether you can get it in your auto ship or whether you can get uh, it has to be a product order. I'm not sure about that. The details haven't been released. But now's the time to start telling your team about when it's uh, coming out, guys. Okay? Awesome. And some other, yeah, it must be a product order. So um, I'm pretty sure just like any other seasonal shake or seasonal product, it's just you, it has to be a separate place order. So make sure that your people know that as well um, to stop any confusion happening if they're trying to get it in their auto ship. Um, a couple of other announcements that are really exciting. In November, there is going to be some seasonal products coming out as well. So I'm just going to mention this to you guys, but we're really going to concentrate this call on the Hokey Pokey Shake coming out next week. Um, but I'm just going to let you know that in November, we have a seasonal bar coming out. We have a seasonal Isa Delight coming out put a yes in the chat how yes if you like ice delights mince pie bar i love that and we also have this is super exciting a seasonal essence coming out as well well i don't even know if it's seasonal is it seasonal it might it be seasonal, just yes. okay it is seasonal. so 
I don't know. You guys can guess what flavors those are going to be. I have no idea, but we may let you know closer to the time. So that's all happening again in November. So, but we're going to go over how we can really utilize next week to our advantage. And if you guys have a goal in mind for your business, you know, you may want to rank advance. We can really do this in, in the next week. What we're going to do, what all the leaders um, have discussed that we're going to do is a team blitz. So you can be involved in that. You don't have to be involved, but I highly recommend that you are because the momentum from this week, if people utilize it, you're going to achieve those goals. So first things first, guys, got to get organized, okay? What is your goal for next week? If you've had a goal in mind for a while, if you've had uh, your sights set on your next rank advancement um, or creating some consultants in your team or just reaching out to um, some people that are product users in your team, say, hey, you know, is there anyone else that would like to share some hokey pokey with? Okay, so I'm not sure if new orders can... Uh, receive the hokey pokey not sure how that's going to work um, but what i do know is that creating consultants through this having people get back to consultant in your teams or you going consulting yourself is going to be massive or rank advancing to um rank advancing to manager or director or one star two star all these things come into play guys Okay, so what is that goal? I, I really want you to write down while you're on this call. Okay, we might just spend, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Have a think about next week from Wednesday onwards. Um, what is your goal for when the Hokey Pokey gets released? Yeah, so you can put it in the chat if you like to keep yourself accountable. You can write it down on a piece of paper. But we're just going to give you a minute to have a think about it. Now, just understand that, oh yeah, it will be the same price as the other shakes. The seasonal shakes usually are the same price as the other canisters. Um, so guys, just remember the setup for next week starts this week. Okay, so it's not get to next week and then go run for it. It's, you know, start talking to people about, especially in your team, start talking to people about the hokey pokey. Okay, who do you, who do you know that would order some next week? Um, Couple there, Camille to hit five cycles, Julia, five cycles. Okay, this is the kind of things that can be achieved. Five cycle bonus, guys, is massive. Okay, you get paid the five cycles plus an extra US 250, which is just insane, just more money. So really concentrate on that goal, but set it up this week. Get talking to people. Um, you know, how many people do you want to have get started with it within your organization, within your team next week? Those are things to think about over the next few days and this week um, and really getting into action about talking to people um, and getting the ball rolling. Awesome. So Calvin's talking about, you know, how to really set yourself up well for this, for this blitz week. So we've talked about ha having that goal. Okay. And how are you going to get there? Do you know how to become a consultant? Do you know how to hit the five cycle bonus? Because I see a lot of those in the chat. We're not going to go over how to do that, but it's up to you guys to learn, to go to the isogenics resources that you have and find out how you're going to get there. Because there's no point having a goal if you don't know how you're going to get there. So make sure you either go to those resources and know exactly how to do that or ask one of your leaders. Ask someone... Yeah, you know, ask, ask, ask one of your leaders, um, the person who got you started, how do I get to my goal? And really mapping it out with them. So people love you to do that. Us, you know, the leaders love you, love it when people reach out and want to, want to know and want help with that kind of thing. Cool, so having the goal and knowing how to get there. So one important thing that I always recommend in a blitz week as well is telling your family what you're doing.
because most likely you're going to be pushing a bit harder than you usually do, spending all your spare time talking to people about isogenics. So make sure that you tell your, your family or whoever you're living with that this is what you're doing and getting on the same page with you know, some sacrifices that you may need to make over the week. Um, but then also, you know, a reward for, for when you do hit that goal. So make sure you're always communicating that. Um, and getting organized, Calvin mentioned as well. So, you know, having a system. There's so many resources that, um, and videos that we have on the, uh, on the Pathway to Success page. So having a system, writing down everybody that you've talked to, writing down everyone who you need to follow up with, and just having a simple to use system where you can really utilize your time over the blitz week. So we're gonna have some, you know, some chats going to help you guys out to really motivate you, um, which will be organized after this call with um, your leaders. So don't worry about needing any motivation because, you know, we can all keep each other accountable, which is awesome. Cool. So I'm just going to take a quick couple of shares, guys. Um, you know, just unmute yourself and just share a little bit. Maybe you'd like to share about your goal or how excited you are for Hokey Pokey. So I'm just going to take a quick couple of shares. Who's open to sharing uh, anything about, about those things? Yeah, hokey pokey or what their goal is what they're excited for next week Thank you, Michelle, yeah go for it laws um so just around the way of getting people to invest well, obviously it's amazing and it's not so massive in australia but definitely new zealand where you guys are just completely obsessed with that stuff it blows my mind how obsessed that are um <laughs> a really good <laughs> a really good way to generate interest and create interest people is um, to create a quick little graphic, get some hokey pokey pics off of Pinterest, create like a word swag pic, and then post it around and say, look, do you love ice cream? Do you like making protein pancakes? Because you can have that hokey pokey theme. Like, do you, are you obsessed with hokey pokey like me? You can make some healthy pancakes and healthy smoothies, healthy ice cream, you know, to generate the interest around people being able to have the stuff they love without the high sugars and high crap. You know, and that's a really good way of generating some interest. Oh, I love it, Laws. Hit the head, uh, hit the nail on the head there. That's spot on. Um, so that was it. Yeah, that's what Laura said. Creating some curiosity on your Facebook um, around hokey pokey, and you know, it's it's really cool, guys. Be creative. Be creative. Bridget, did you want to say something? I just heard you come off. No, I was heading out the door and accidentally pushed the button. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool You're excited ways. about Hokey Pokey, Bridget? Mega excited. I just left um, Grace's house. We had an event with Adam and Bianca, and it was pretty awesome. Awesome. Oh, guys. I can hear myself echoing in the TV upstairs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be amazing, guys, and I'm, I'm really stoked that everyone's getting on board with that. Does anyone else want to share what they're, what they're going to be doing this week and leading into next week for the Hokey Pokey? Any other shares? Kel, I just wanted to add something. Yeah, go hard, Rach. Um, so I just wanted to say for all the UK people on the call, because you know I'm like UK represent, uh, it is the Blitz is for all markets. So just to clarify that, like it's for everybody. And um, for those that are running for the trip to um, Tenerife, you guys want to be utilizing the Blitz. The UK people want to be utilizing the Blitz to be able to win that trip. Because mm. I know some of you have been reaching out about that. So I just wanted to add that in. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. Like Hokey Pokey's in ANZ market, but the Blitz is team wide. That's what Rachel's saying. So absolutely, guys, we're all here for motivation. We're all here for support and really helping this whole next week to fire. Um, obviously, we've got this week, though, as well. And like we said, we really want to set each other up for success. Get talking to people. Um, you know, if you've got enrollments, get them through. People will get started and get on to the hokey pokey next week. So awesome. Yeah, cool. And a couple of other um, little tips on things you can start to do this week um, is, you know, Laura said, create that um, curiosity on social media. 
so important. But then also message all your customers that you already have about this hokey pokey. Say something like, we'll, we'll give you a template, but you know, say something like, we've got a hokey pokey coming out on October the 3rd. Um, you know, uh, use the so sage templates, options. guys. There's, yeah. six or so templates. there's so many options that you can um, that you can use, but you know, really make sure you're reaching out to existing customers and even customers that maybe aren't using the products anymore, that have fallen off, you know, in your isogenics journey. Reach out to them as well. Go down your, your list on your back office and you know, really inspire them and, and let them know about the Hokey Pokey because I know that a lot of Kiwis love this flavor. So, you know, you never know who may be jumping back on board with this product, which is awesome. Um, and like Calvin said, using the Say templates. So really start to use those templates, even start tonight. Start reaching out to people, get them on the webinars. So we still have those webinars. Also, the, there is another week of 10% off. Yeah, Karen just chucked in the chat. For enrollment. So all enrollments, it's been extended out another week, which is so exciting. So there's, it's so much happening in isogenics at the moment. Yeah, cool. And just for that 10% this week, guys, it just went absolutely gangbusters. So... Another 10% off, which is amazing. And it really reach out to people. There's a lot of people that, um, you know, have might have been saying, oh, you know, wait until payday or whatever. Um, talk to those people about the 10% off. And some of it's massive. Okay, so for the, for the basic wellness pack, I think it's like $45 off. For the premium pack, it's like $70 off. And for the ultimate pack, it's like $82 or $88 off. It's massive savings, guys, for people getting started. Um, and they do it maybe once a year, maybe once a year. I know they did it last year. So it's not going to be around again at all this year, guys. Um, so really use use that, take advantage of that. There's enrollments going through the roof at the moment. So um, Corin just also chucked in the chat that seasonal shakes usually hit the back office around 10 a.m. New Zealand time, which... Um, which, yeah, they like they have in the past. So it's eight AM um, Aussie time. So should be good. Awesome. So we're all ready to go for for this week. For next week, we will be keeping you guys updated on any prizes that we may be throwing out during the week. Um, so keep an eye out for those and. Um, also some chat groups that, you know, we can all be a part of to really get motivated to, and, you know, share some tips that may have worked um, throughout the week. So it's really exciting. And um, now for just uh, the next little while, I want to bring on Nat. If she's on the call, I saw she was on the call. As I would love to congratulate her on her new rank advancement to director. It's incredible. She has six consultants, which is amazing, and um, she really smashed it. You know, we the last two to, weeks. We spoke to Bridie and Bryce and uh, Kelly and Sia the other week. So, Nat, mm -hmm. would you like to open your if line you and just share line? a little bit with us? Sorry, I didn't give you any warning about this, but me, Nat, or other Nat. No, you, you net. Net. yeah, you yeah, net. yeah. Yes. Sorry, I'm sitting there going, shot net. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anyone. Sorry, I didn't give you any warning for this, but I think it's really cool to bring you on. I just really want to say congratulations, and I think it's perfect timing because you can share a few tips with us, um, you know, on, on the momentum that you have in your business and that people can really take on the next couple of weeks um, in this new Hokey Pokey uh, launch. So, um, yeah, congratulations. And, and what was the week like that you hit director? Thanks so much, Ness. Um, and I'm excited for Hokey Pokey, oh my goodness. <laughs> Such a 
Um, but now that I've got that out of the way. So I'm on seven consultants now, which is super exciting. Mm. Um, and to answer your question of, was it what I, just to be clear, what did that week look like? Mm. Yeah, what did it look like to you? Um, How did it feel? Well, what, have, what have you been doing over that time to create so many consultants? Well, the thing I'd love to just like stress home is that I kept going to hit it for multiple weeks, including during the triple cycle, double cycles and triple cycles. And um, things just didn't work out for people like life circumstances, tires needed to be fixed and, you know, people just weren't ready yet. Um, so the biggest thing that I got out of all of that from being like, yes, I'm going to hit director. Oh, no, wait, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh, no, wait, I'm not is to like be super prepared and have as many people kind of going for it as possible and not just like having your mind set on, oh, yay, Anna's going to go um, consultant this week so I can count her, like really keeping your options open so that if, say, Anna doesn't pull through for whatever reason, um, you're not like kind of set on that, if that makes sense. So you're not left like disheartened that it's not going to follow through, whether it be for an incentive or just because you you know, wanted to hit that goal. Um, and so I'm kind of, yeah, I'm taking that on for getting to exec and um, not only that, but just building in a way that's sustainable and, you know, not like getting to a rank and then dropping off. So looking at like who I, who I can be helping next. Um, and I think the biggest thing for me is like, it's no secret and I will blow my own trumpet. I'm pretty great at enrolling. Um, but I wasn't then reaching out to see how I could help my people. I was being quite cash, I guess, about the sharing opportunity. And I think a part of that was, no, a lot of that was my money story. Like the idea of talking to people about money, um, the fact that I'm, you know, still living at home at the moment with Aiden, um, with his parents, you know, having recently moved and all these, all these stories of not being there yet that I didn't feel like I had the right or that I could go talk to people about money. And I just really got how silly that was finally. And that none of that matters. And like, who am I to not share with someone about what's possible for them financially, even if it just means them getting, you know, their next month's products for free. Like why should I have my attention on me, which I get as human, um, you know, and not, at least give them that opportunity and if they don't want to then cool but if they do and people have it's been so rewarding and it's just really refreshing to get myself out of the way to help other people because that's essentially why I'm doing this you know mm. so cool. I don't know I kind of ranted but that was kind of my biggest takeaways no cool dude and, mm. and what I got from that is that you were consistently working at it, it you might have had that big week where you actually got there but you were just consistently going up for it for multiple weeks on end and and you know that's that's awesome dude and yeah mm. we know how hard you work so good on you thanks mm. and i want to say a massive massive thanks to rach and isaac and adam and b because i had them all pretty much on speed dial um you know as i was working towards that and even still now so i just love your guys leadership and just yeah endless amounts of love for you guys so thank you mm, that's so nice that's awesome thanks so much nash and um thanks. you know you mentioned that and obviously my pain dur yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah well of course we already know that you uh you love them to bits <laughs> um, so i guess you know you you mentioned that you're you're such a great enroller and um you know you've figured out really how to help them get paid as well which is so amazing um but you know when you're you're a really great enroller and you're talking to a lot of people i was just wondering you know what's your what does your day-to-day -day look like? like how many people do you talk to every day well rach won't be happy to hear this but i don't i haven't been doing my tracker so i couldn't tell you exactly mm -hmm. um but I really got that it's not like a numbers game as in like go just talk to people as if, as if they're numbers, which I've done at the beginning too, admittedly. Um, but it is very much a numbers game in that obviously the more people you're reaching out to, the more that are going to come back to you. So even when I'm tired, 
you know, like I'm, I'm sitting here with a hot water bottle out with, because I'm like, my sweat has dried on me after being at the gym. Um, so even if I'm like tired and, you know, it's, you know, life can get busy with Tyker and everything else. Like I will make sure, and I learned this one from Rach that before going to bed, I'll at least get out like 10 messages, you know, to then potentially wake up to two. Um, and just like taking that constant action because even, well, especially when I don't feel like it, like that would be the biggest thing I'd say. Don't wait to be motivated because it's not going to freaking come. Like if you are lucky enough to have e-shots around, like knock one back or like, you know, I listen to motivational videos on YouTube to like get myself amping or whatever to change my state, like Tony Robbins says, so that I can then be in action because if you kind of wait around to feel motivated, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, and just get the, yeah, get the messages out. But another key tip that I fell short of during last Derby and realized there was at least six people going, yeah, I'd love to do this. What is this thing that I didn't see is go back to your unread messages. So for those that don't know, you can click and I only learned this after Derby. You can click on unread messages in your messenger and it comes up with all the messages you've not read versus like, you know, it being in bits. So, um, I now allocate my time to like, like an hour of messaging and then going back and checking unread messages. So I haven't missed any keen beans that are waiting for me that I just left hanging. Um, and then like going back to more messages and mixing that between like new people and follow ups as well. Mm -hmm. So I didn't answer how many, but I just keep going basically. Yeah. That's awesome. so awesome. And, um, no, that's brilliant. And when you get someone started, uh, when do you share that they can earn an additional income or get their products paid for? Straight away now. Mm-hmm. Like I'm so loud about it now. It's quite funny to flip. I think most people will probably agree once you get it, it's just like that. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's like, it's so not weird. Like gyms, are, I mean, we all know, but like we make it weird. I was making it weird and it's so not weird at all so I just like straight away like as I'm yarning to them and I just get excited about it and if I can sense they're weird then that's fine I'll say like obviously no pressure but this is what's possible and if it wasn't for Rach sharing with me I wouldn't be sharing with you Mm -hmm. that simple so straight away and you don't have to go into the you share they share this is how you max out straight away although I would advise that ASAP when you can as well but um yeah just letting them know like simply that they can eat for free awesome no cool hey thank you so much nat and um thanks thank so fun. i'm dropping now i'm like who can i message tonight <laughs> hey, guys that's actually what i next wanted to talk about so thank you so much nat and that that's the thing yeah. guys there's nothing stopping you um now after this call from jumping into it and going full throttle it's it's really up to you this is the biggest time of the year for isogenics you know especially in the anz market it's leading into summer but i know all around the world before christmas um before the holiday season this is the time that everyone's really trying to um really trying to work hard in isogenics and really trying to help more people get on board and there's so many people looking there's so many people looking wondering what you're doing People want this and people need this right now. Okay, please reach out to people and please get into it, guys, because, um, you know, 10% off, um, Hokey Pokey Shake, there's so many things on. There's the Fiji Challenge on. Uh, you got the Tenerife, have, Tenerife thing happening in the UK. There's so many incentives and everything going on right now. Guys, you need to be taking advantage of it. Um, and Jim and Kathy and uh, Michael Klaus and uh, Eric Coover, um, they were talking about 15 enrollments over 15 weeks, guys. Okay, until the end of the year. What would that do to your isogenics business come 2019? What would 15 enrollments, you know, the end half of this year look like for your isogenics business? If you break that down, guys, that's 150 people that you need to have a chat with about isogenics. Get them into the webinars, plug them in. Nightly webinars, guys. Every single night there's people on a webinar to introduce your uh, new person to isogenics. 
which is amazing. And they're absolutely going off. There's like 20 or 30 on every single night. Okay, get people onto these calls, plug them in, guys, and get them started on Nicegenics. There's nothing hotter going around right now. This is where it's at, and if you don't take advantage of it, guys, you're going to get left behind, honestly. So please, if I can stress anything, take advantage of all these incentives, 10% off, hokey pokey, Fiji challenge, the 15 weeks thing, whatever it's called. Just take advantage of it all, and, and it's there for you. It's there for the taking. So last little thing on the call tonight, guys. Uh, like to welcome on the bearded one, Mr. Adam Nisbet. He is just going to say a few words. So, Adzi. Yo, can you guys hear me? We can hear loud and clear, brother. <laughs> uh, we're just chilling out at Grace's house in Wellington. And we just finished an epic business event. Look at these dudes in the yeah, background. It's all on. Um, I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to jump on in and uh, remind you guys that if you guys are gunning down any of the star ranks, um, which are obviously like the one star, two star, three star ranks, um, that obviously is going to help you guys. Anyone gunning down three star, uh, next week is going to be the week to do it. Machu Picchu is executive three star, right? And just to add a little bit of an emphasis around that trip, who's heard? Chuck a yes in the chat if you guys have heard that they're actually limiting the amount of people who can visit Machu Picchu now to just 1,000 people per year. That's real. Or maybe it's 8,000. Either way, there is millions and millions of people that visit that place on average per year. They're cutting it down to just, I think, you know, I don't know, 1,000 to 8,000 people, which means that there's going to be a backlog of people wanting to visit that place. Some may never get to see it in their lifetime, right? And... Isogenics is going to be taking 50 people there, all expenses paid, right? 50 other people. And so if you guys are gunning that down, then you're going to be wanting to look at, right? Don't overstretch yourself. If you're, if you're nowhere near executive three-star, don't overstretch yourselves. But if you believe it's possible, next week is the time to make it happen, right? Obviously, it's not your only option, but it's a really, really big week that we're all going to be blitzing together. The hokey pokey is going to get released. So that's going to raise up your cycles uh, towards getting closer to, to three star, right? And so if you're close, why not stretch for it next week? Why not make that week your, your go-to week? Uh, if you guys aren't, aren't at that stage, again, don't overcommit yourself. Don't overstretch yourself and burn yourself out if, you're, if it's too far away right now. Um, but I'm talking to everyone who's close and wanting to get to that six-figure level of executive three-star. So to remind you guys, uh, if you are gunning down those star ranks, uh, you have to be a paid-as manager the week before you hit one star if you want to get that $500, uh, sorry, that $1,000 bonus, right? That's a $1,000 US dollar bonus. Right, for going, for, that's the one star bonus, but you must be paid as manager the week before, i.e., this week. If you're gunning down the two star bonus, right, which is $2,000, right, 2000 US, you've got to be paid as director the week before. Okay, and if you're gunning down the three star bonus, which is three grand, right, you've got to be paid as executive the week before, i.e., this week, right? And for any of you guys gunning down three star, the best advice I can give you is that those team matching cycles that count towards your, your three-star um, blitz, those team matching cycles, the only way that you can make the most of them next week during blitz week is if you're paid as executive before Monday, 4 p.m. Um, this coming week. I.e., you want to get paid back, back to paid as executive or if you haven't got to executive yet, you want to get to executive this week. Because as you go into next week, you'll be an executive and you'll get all of those team matching cycles. So all of your consultants, you'll be re, um, getting their cycles, right? Yes, Matt, exactly. I'm looking at people like yourself who are on the way there. This is the week to do it so that come next week, you're a paid as executive and you're getting all of those extra cycles um, in your account, helping you get to three star, right? Does that make sense? Um, make sense, guys? Perfect, right? Because... This, this trip, this Machu Picchu trip is so achievable. If you think about it, it's only out of the start 1,000 people, right? It's only out of the start 1,000 people. So guys, um, next week's Blitz is team-wide, right? I, um, 
I, we're going to be making an exciting announcement. If not tomorrow, then it will be the next day to help you guys. Right. But, but stay tuned for that on the pages. Um, that's it for me. I just wanted to make that crystal clear that if you guys are gunning down any star ranks and you want to get paid for that star rank, make sure that you hit that rank manager for one star director for two star executive for three star this week. So that as you, as you gun it down next week, you can get those bonuses, but I'll hand it back to, to Calvin Ness. Oh, bro. Thank you so much for that. And, um, yeah, great, um, great heads up for everyone. So thank you so much for pointing that out, man. It's, um, yeah, it has to be this week guys. So with 10% off, you know, getting, you know, some of you might not, might only need one consultant or two consultants or something. Okay. To get to where you need to be. Okay. Now, you know, Rachel and Isaac, <laughs> they're insane. They've made seven consultants one week to get to executive. So I know anything can be done guys. I know anything can be done. So what I'm saying is uh, get to the place you need to be to set yourself up for next week. It's a mad hustle this week for all out blitz next week. And uh, you got anything else? No, I think we're pretty much covered. I'm just pumped and ready to go. Oh yeah, get off this call and get into action guys. We're um, really excited about everything that's happened and I'm stoked to be uh, on here with Ness talking to you guys about it. So uh, how many e-shops we had that week, Isaac and Rach? Yeah, um, couple of boxes i'd imagine um but thank you so much for all being on tonight guys we'll keep it short and let you get straight into the action uh love you all and thank you so much for being on so cheers guys bye guys thanks guys, thanks, guys. It was love you guys see you, bye. See you later. Peace out.